Good morning, all my first graders. Today, we are gonna learn about something really important. Can anybody guess what we're gonna learn about today? We kind of talked about it yesterday. We had talked about we were gonna be doing something with learning, with our counting our intervals. Does anybody remember us talking about that? That we were talking about counting by ones, fives, tens, 25s. I know, 25s sound a little hard, but we got this. Has anybody ever went to the store before with your mom or your dad or your older brother, your older sister, anybody? Yes, we've all been to the store before. So do you ever wonder how we pay for the items at the store? Does, do they magically appear into our carts and we take them home? No, that's not what happens. So today, we are gonna learn about something called coins. So let's jump into it. So our first coin we have is a quarter. A quarter is worth 25 cents. So counting by ones, one, two, three, um, to 25. Counting by fives, five, 10, 15, 20, 25. So we look at this quarter and it is silver and round and it's got George Washington's face on it. Okay, let's move on. Now we have a dime. Can everybody see? Okay, we see this one's a little smaller than a quarter, but that's because it's worth 10 cents. So we have 10 right here. So if we wanted to count by ones, one, two, three, so on to 10. And then if we wanted to count by twos, two, four, six, eight, ten. If we wanted to count by fives, five, ten. So we see our dime and how it's worth 10 cents. Okay, next, this one might be kind of confusing for everybody because this is a nickel, it's worth five cents, but it's bigger than a dime. That can't be right. Why is something that is worth less bigger than something that is worth more? But that's just the way it is. And do not let this throw you. We are, it's, everything's okay. Just because it's bigger, then a dime does not mean that it is more than a dime. Okay, and very lastly, we have our penny. Can everybody see it? It's a copper color. The only one that's not silver. It's got Abraham Lincoln on it, and it is worth one cent. So right now, I need everyone to ask questions if you have them. If you have a question, you need to ask it because we're about to move into the fun part. We are gonna use our minds and we're gonna use our counting abilities and we are gonna count out some totals that Miss McMillan has thought of. Okay, can you see my envelope? I have 29 cents in this envelope. Let's think of all the ways we can make 29 cents. One way, can somebody give me one way? Okay, a quarter and four pennies. 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. That makes 29 cents. Can somebody give me another way? Okay, two dimes, 10, 20, a nickel, that would be 25, and then four pennies, 
26, 27, 28, 29. That's right, we get 29 cents that way too. Let's see what way Miss McMillan made 29 cents. So, we have two dimes, 10, 20, a nickel, 25, and look, four pennies, 26, 27, 28, 29. All right, any questions? Okay, let's move on to our next amount. Okay, now 52 cents. What are some ways we could make 52 cents? Okay, five dimes, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and two pennies. 10, 51, sorry, and 52. That would make 52 cents. Okay, let's see what way Miss McMillan made 52 cents. Okay, so we have two quarters, 25, 50. I know it's kind of hard to count by 25. It's, it'll take time, and you know what? That's okay to take time because it's something new that we're learning, and we got to learn it somehow, right? Okay, so again, 25, 50, 51, 52. Two pennies, two quarters. Okay, any questions? Okay, now let's move on to our dollar. Okay, so our ultimate goal when counting coins is to get to our dollar amount. So a dollar is a hundred. You see, if you put your finger right there, a hundred. So let's not let this little decimal point screw us over, okay? We're not gonna let it screw us up. We are gonna look at it like 100. Okay, so with that being said, what are some ways we could get to $1? Anybody? A hundred pennies? That's a lot of pennies. But yes, a hundred pennies would get us to the, to the dollar. What are some other ways we could make our dollar four quarters yes that is right because if we count by 25 four times that equals a hundred 25 50 75 a hundred let's see how miss mcmillan made her hundred or made her dollar so we have a quarter, 25, another quarter, 50, another quarter, 75, and then we have a nickel, that's 85, a dime, sorry, we have a dime. See, Miss McMillan even makes mistakes, it's okay. So we have a dime to get us to, to 85, a nickel, 90, Another nickel, 95, then five pennies, 96, 97, 98, 99, and then there's a dollar. Okay, so I know this is kind of a lot we're throwing right now. I know, I get it. We haven't, I mean, this is brand new, but this is so very important for us to learn because our whole lives are going to revolve around money. We use money for everything. If you go buy lunch in the cafeteria, you're using money. If you go to the store, you're going to be using money. When you are big, grown up like me, 
you're going to be getting paid in money and then you have to use that money to pay for all the things you're going to need. So, with that being said, if anybody has any questions, right now would be a perfect time to ask them and because we're going to move in to our worksheets, I'm going to let you color, I'm going to let you count out coins, but right now, if we have any questions, this is the time to ask. Okay, no questions? All right, my big, smart first graders, it's time to move into our worksheet, and let's see how we do counting our coins.